Hi everyone, welcome to the QA Ops channel. I'm Rafael Lima, and today we're going to understand a little bit more about RestAssure. So a couple of folks asked me uh, why the RestAssure is written the way that it's written, and today we're going to do uh, a more digging into that way of writing, which is basically to help you read it better. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so, hit the bell so you can receive the notifications of my next videos. And I'm also going to be posting the links for uh, the previous videos so you can follow what we have been doing so far. Right. So what we're going to do is basically we're going to repeat this method but writing in a different way. Because if we take a look here, what is the given actually, right? What, what is the given? What is the when? If you take a look at the given, it says it re returns a request specification. If we go to when, it also returns a request specification. If we go to get, it returns an R, which is a response. The then returns a T, right? So what is, uh, uh, how, how is that actually happening? What, what is happening in, in, underneath it, right? I could, I could return the body. The body return a response body extraction. I could return a JSON path, which is a JSON path. The list, which is going to be a list, right? So let's take a look a little bit better of how we're going to do this, right? So if I do, I'm going to comment this and we're going to create a same annotation because our test needs to pass after we do this, right? So let's say we're going to be a list pet and get pets by status and we're still going to receive a status now this is where it's going to diverge right what we're going to do is we're going to create these in a way that is more java way because see that in, in rest assured given a pass param when i do a get then extract the body so it's very human readable. Right? Although it's still a little verbose, it's, it's, it's human readable. But then we need to understand what's happening there. That, that's the purpose. Right? So what you're going to do is we're going to do a rest assure given, which is the same, the first thing that we're going to do, right? Alright? But if we take a look at the rest assure given, if I put my mouse on top of it, this is going to return a specification, right? So if I go even further and I go there, it's going to return a request specification. So I need to put this on a request. So request specification, rest assured, and I'm going to call it HTTP request. Now I receive my request. What can I do with my request? So this is this is the the variable that is going the object sorry that's going to be able to do any request HTTP request. So if I put a dot, I can do the pass param, I can do when, I can do delete, I can do accept, I can do content type, I can do various things that we do in our given because this is the request, right? So I can do here, uh, the when is synthetic sugar, right? Because the when is the same as the given. It, it returns a request specification. I can do a when here, or I can do a delete. I can do a, a, a body because the when is also in request specification, right? So it's just to make it more readable. But what we did here, we did a, a pass param. So I'm going to say pass param and status status right because this is exactly what we have this is the pass param but what does a pass param returns if i just hold a command or control and i leave it there i'm going to see that it's going to return a request specification right a uh it's still a request specification awesome but i'm setting up my pass param Right, so and I'm sending, I'm just setting this up on my HTTP request. I just changed my HTTP request. I don't need to do anything else because this is still on top of my HTTP request. Awesome. I can do content type if I want here, but we already have the content type set up in RestAssure. Uh, so now what I'm going to do now, I need to do my get, right? 
So I'm going to say HTTP request get to that endpoint. And what does the get return? If I go here, get return a response, right? So if I put my mouse here, so see response get, right? So now I'm going to say uh, response, response, and now I got a response. I need to import this. You see the rest of share response is up here. So what I can do with my response now? So I can I can extract the the body of it. So let's say response dot body, and I want the actual the actual JSON path, JSON path, and I can put this on my JSON path, and I'm calling this JSON body. Awesome. So what can I do with this body now? What I can do, I can return JSON body dot get list. Exactly what we did here on, on the top, right? And this is going to return a pet dot class. If I run my test, which is the pet. It passed. Also, I don't need to actually do this. I can return the whole body from here. I, 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 I can just come here, remove this, and I can say return response body JSON dot get list pet dot class. Rerun. It's good, right? So this is this is basically what I want to show you. I want to, to understand the difference, right? What, what not actually the difference, but what RestaShare is actually doing. The way that RestaShare is set up is for you to be able to read it better. Because if you compare, let me remove the comments. It's going to show an error. I'm just going to put two here. So see the difference between the readability right return given a pass param when get then extract body i think this is http request http pass param http get get a response so this is it's still readable but it's not the same right this is much more readable so but then this is important for you to understand this because in my next video i'm going to show you how you can return different parts of this and this is very important because I can re I can do my return exactly here. I can come here and I say, okay, now I want to return this. And instead of returning the actual list of pets, I want to return the response. And now my test is going to be responsible to 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 know what they need to do with the response. And on the other hand, this year I'm already giving the pet already already deserialize I'm already giving the object of the pet with the response so this is very different right I I can I have more flexibility of what I wanted to do if I have the response of course it's up to you uh, you can have multiple right it, it doesn't need to be uh, only uh, returning the actual pet and return either one or the other you can choose you have you can have method that is actually returning the the object already for you and you can have tests uh, or method that is returning the response because now you have more flexibility it's totally up to you right? so thank you for watching uh, if you haven't subscribed please do so hit the bell to, re to receive the notifications of my next videos and if you like it give the thumbs up uh, and I appreciate it if you do because that's how YouTube uh, help people broadcast more their channels and help the channels grow, right? Thank you, and I'll see you on the next video.